Hi everyone, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to another tune in message. This is timeless guys, meaning it's no time front. So it's whenever you feel, whenever you feel guided to listen to this message, it's usually your intuition coming in here or if the title resonated with you, there may be a message in here for you, okay? It is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with you all. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't force anything to fit. I definitely encourage you to peruse the tune in um, playlist because like I said, they're all timeless. Um, other announcements I just want to make because I know a lot of you have been asking about the private readings and now that we are in January 2021 energy, um, I did promise you guys that my website will be up. It is happening this week. Yes, finally. So um, I'm probably going to go on live and explain to you what's happening with Harmonia, um, how it's evolving because it is evolving in a big way. Um, and what kind of packages that I will have there because it is different from what I used to have, okay? So anyway, like I said, be on the lookout for that. You'll see all that information in the community tab if you subscribe. All right, let's get started. Let's see what's going on with the collective. What's going on? What messages do we have for the collective here, Spirit? Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages are here for the collective. What does the collective need to know? Pull in some... Oracle cards here for you before we get started in the tarot spread. We're starting off with passion ignited. Look at this. Desires. But here's what's interesting. Next to it we have messages from a rabbit, service to the animal world. Notice the red eyes passion, desires. Now the rabbit is about abundance, fertility. Now I'm reading this intuitively with a 15, the six, it comes to a six, so it's about a balance. But I feel for many of you, you're going to be receiving a message. And this message is in regards to what your desires and passions are. Whatever you've been focusing on, it's coming in a big way, okay? In a big, big way. These are desires. This is, this is... Some of you, if this is love, this is a message of love that it's like a, a new... Like, I just feel like it's very, you know, this is a person you're extremely attracted to, okay? Be careful with that rabbit energy, guys. Because <laughs> I see... If you don't want kids, I'm just telling you, <laughs> that rapid energy might be a booty call. Others of you, if it's not that, <laughs> some of you it is. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. This is about getting a message of some sort about your desires that something's going to grow. Something's going to grow in a big way. I mean, this could be in so many things, and we're going to see what the tarot spread says. But I feel like a lot of you, this is a message of either love or a new opportunity for something that you desire and love a lot. I mean, it makes, it, it puts you on fire here. Let's see what additional messages that we have, though. What did I say? Here's the devil card here. Now, the devil is not always Capricorn energy here. It's not always about toxicities, right? Sometimes it's bound to obsessive desires. Hot something that is hot that you desire what additional messages do we have on this because three of cups mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nine of wands and the page of wands reverse interesting with overall energy of are you kidding me four wands unity coming together celebration happiness Celebration in a home front, celebration of a new opportunity, like I said, promotion, but doing it together. Others of you, this is a celebration of a budding relationship. I mean, this is what it is, all right? We got the Three of Cups energy here next to the devil energy. I'm not seeing this as any kind of weird message for a three party. I mean, I'm really seeing somebody here who's getting a message of love and coming together and it's gonna be like a lot of happiness here, okay? I do not feel like you're expecting it here with the nine of wands. In fact, you've been through the ringer here, okay, collective? 
it's like you are very aware of where your desires or passions are and you're like but is this too good to be true because you've been through a lot this opportunity of either love or whatever is coming your way that you really wanted and desired, had a lot of passion with, you're a little wary on it, okay? You're like, is this too good to be true? Because the Page of Wands is reverse, and the Page of Wands is about a new passionate beginning, taking a leap, right? And it's reverse, so I just feel like you're in the level of like, I don't know. I don't know if this is like, what's this? I don't think you guys are expecting this message. I think it's going to be something that you're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this possible? I'm hearing, is this possible? Because this is really what I've been desiring for quite some time. Let's let's see what the vice versa has to say. I do not do reversals on the vice versa deck. Let's clarify this devil energy. There's three of cups and this nine of swords with the page of wands. Nine of swords. Nine of wands. Yeah, we got the Page of Cups, <laughs> Death, uh-huh, uh-huh, Ten of Pentacles, are you kidding me? Justice, uh-huh. Guys, somebody's coming in. You don't know about this, but it's about offering something that is emotionally fulfilling, okay? It's secret. It's like when it's in the light like this, it's about somebody that you're aware of, right? I don't think you're aware of this. Either you have... Um, a secret admirer or someone who's been watching you for quite some time who wants to give you an offer or there's an off offer that just gets manifested out of nowhere for you you guys take it as it fits for you but it feels the energy that somebody is getting opportunity or an offer and as small as it is it's gonna bring you a lot of um, happiness okay death this is a transformation. I feel for many of you, you've been through a lot of old cycles, a lot of things that no longer served you here, okay? A lot of things where it made you evaluate your own happiness, but it's like now I'm facing it. Now I'm facing the fact that I, there is a chance for new beginnings, new start, celebration here, coming together, rejoicing, okay? I just think that you're really evaluating this <laughs> because it's the Ten of Pentacles, guys. The Ten of Pentacles, are you kidding me? Earth energy here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But look at this, look at this fire energy, look at this, like, is this too good to be true? This is loyalty, this is companionship, this is stable. This is an offer for commitment. And if it's not love related, this is an opportunity that is going to bring you a lot of wealth and stability. And whoever is coming to offer you that is, is somebody it might be new with the page energy, but like this, you see as an older person, but it's somebody who who knows how to bring a stable and tangible offer towards you, all right? There's loyalty here. It's interesting that we have the white rabbit and a white dog here, so I don't know if there's reference to somebody who is coming towards you that has a white dog, but that's for some of you, or a dog of some sort that they're connected to that you, I don't know. That's some of you have to hear that though. So I, they focusing on the white, something pure about it. The page of wands with the justice. This is the balance that you've been wanting collective. Again, you're not aware of it. You aren't seeing this. If you're seeing it, you're like, it's too good to be true. It's too good to be true. But man, this if this is love related, somebody is very passionate about you and is just gonna, like they're putting their all in this. They're putting their all in this. Let's see, um, the person or the opportunity coming to you, what will this bring to the collective? What will this bring to the collective? I'm gonna validate this justice card. Two cards fell out here, King of Wands. Desire, passions, actions, so being motivated. But here's what's interesting. You have the Six of Swords here. You have moved away from some really heavy emotional baggage bullshit. You're not taking this with you, okay? This is moving on, moving forward with someone that brings you a lot of happiness and passion. Okay, this is actually going to push you forward to want more. I think that this is like, 
you know, I just feel like there's going to be some kind of stability here. And like I said, if this is an opportunity, an offer that you've been waiting for, or hearing for, this can come in many forms. Could be a job, could be a loan. There's somebody here that is going to offer you the opportunity that's going to help you, boost you to take actions to move away from the bullshit that no longer served you. I'm surprised we didn't get the magician here because I feel like you've been manifesting this from quite some time here. Yeah, it's happening. Someone, someone's definitely coming towards you underneath the other, uh, underneath. Blah blah blah. blah. I'm talking so fast because I'm so freaking excited for whoever this resonates for. Because like I'm like, my God, who's getting this message? Cancer energy here with the chariot is underneath the deck with the four of wands. This is about someone, something coming to like someone's coming to you, and it's coming quick. I need to know what it is. You guys got to let me know how this resonates for you if it does. All right. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. You know the deal. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. And I will see you next time for the next tune in.